Hello, and welcome to Miscreated. My name is Marco, and I am the lead level designer, and in this video, I'll be showing you some of the new upcoming features for our 1.0 release. Miscreated is a post-apocalyptic online survival game based in the near future where humanity has been brought to its knees after the final war. As a remaining survivor, you hang on what remains of this unforgiving world, ravaged by the mutant plague which was miscreated in the fallout. Survive, loot, cooperate, build, dominate. In this online sandbox experience, the choice is yours. One of the new features we're going to be showing off today is our dynamic world system, which allows us to inhabit more interactive objects within the world for our players to toy with. As part of this system, we've introduced powered houses. Any residential house in the world can be powered with a generator, which includes some benefits. I've already collected a portable generator, which can now craft into a working placeable generator. With the placeable generator now crafted, we can now provide power for our building. Let's place it close to the power box and connect the power. Let's flip the generator on and provide power for our home. All right, now that the house is receiving power, we can go inside and see what we can interact with. We also now have working doors as part of the dynamic world system. We also adjusted the way the AI navigation mesh works to auto-generate when a new object has been placed into the world. This includes doors open close states, as well as playmade structures. The AI will be aware of these objects and navigate around them accordingly. So as you can see in this house, we have an electric stove which we can now interact with. As part of the 1.0 release, food item spawns will be dramatically decreased, which will mean that players will be required to gather food from hunting or cultivating food using the new farming system. Now we need something to cook. I have a chicken outside which I'm now going to slaughter for my lunch. Consuming raw food will have negative effects. It is now crucial you cook your food before consuming it. Okay, now that we have our chicken in the oven, we can check the status of the cooking process by interacting with the oven. As you can see, it's still raw. We'll have to wait a bit longer before it's safe to consume. Hopefully I don't overcook and burn this one. It's not going to be a real chicken dinner without something on the side. Let's go outside and check my potato crops. Here I've already planted some potato seeds in the crop planter. These planters can be found throughout the world, so it's not a requirement to build them for your base. However, if you choose to, you can craft your own planters for your crafted base. Just like the electric stove, I can check on the status of my crop. As you can see with the status message, my crops require more water. I can either wait for it to rain, and the planter will retain water naturally, or I can manually add water to the planter myself. For this demonstration, I'm going to add the water manually. Let's go back inside and check on the chicken. Seems like the chicken just needs a little more time in the oven. In the meantime, let's make it a bit more cozy in here and turn on some lights. Because the house is now powered, there are other working powered objects I can now interact with. That's much better. For this demonstration, I'm going to skip ahead and show you my final meal. My potatoes are now fully grown and are ready for harvest. Lovely! With the harvested potatoes, I can choose to eat them or replant them to grow some more. You can also use rotten food as fertilizer for faster growth. Now let's go and retrieve the chicken from the oven. The chicken is also cooked perfectly. Now that's what I call a winner winner chicken dinner. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration of our new dynamic world features. This is just some of the new things you'll be able to interact with. There will be more when 1.0 debuts. This is only one example of many ways you'll be able to survive in Miscreated. You can follow all of our progress and updates on our social media channels. On behalf of the team, I would like to thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you survive in Miscreated.